The UK had a history of producing world-conquering boxers, but lately, there's been a drought. Sure, all of the heavyweight belts are now in the UK again, but it's the first time since Lennox Lewis took them home in 1999. The Lion was a huge talent who conquered boxing's glamour division back in the days when it was still making front page news. Wins over Mike Tyson, Evander Holyfield, fellow Brit Frank Bruno, and Vitaly Klitschko make the Lion one of the greatest heavyweight champions of all time. He was an Olympic gold medalist, a three-time heavyweight champion, and the last man to claim undisputed status in the biggest division. But he was never as popular as Ricky the Hitman Hatton, whose fame outstripped his actual achievements. And Ricky's achievements were huge. He was a two-division, two-time world champion, and he was Ring's Fighter of the Year in 2005. His 48 fights featured three losses, but he generally only lost to the best. Two of those losses came to two of the greatest of all time, Floyd Mayweather Jr. and Manny Pacquiao. Not bad for a junk food eating, beer swilling man from Manchester, whose fans would show up to fights like it was a football match. Ricky has since been in the corner of the new generation of boxing talent, most notably another fighter with boisterous fans, WBC heavyweight champ, Tyson Fury. But no one's fans loved them more than Prince Nassim Hamed loved himself. The flamboyant, unorthodox featherweight was one of the most talented boxers to ever step in the ring, and he had the showmanship to match it. He'd fly into the ring on a magic carpet, or in an elaborate leopard print robe before somersaulting over the ropes in his matching leopard print trunks. But antics aside, Prince Nassim won the featherweight title in his first featherweight bout and defended it 15 times before his only ever loss. He retired with a 36-1 record at just 28 years old. But if records are proof of quality, then the finest boxer the UK ever produced, Joe Calzaghe. 46 fights, 46 wins. The Pride of Wales was a super middleweight champion for more than 10 years. He fought 21 successful title defenses and became a two-division champion. He beat champions the caliber of Mikhail Kessler, Roy Jones Jr., and Bernard Hopkins. There hasn't been a British boxer as successful or popular since. But now the UK can claim both Tyson Fury and Anthony Joshua two incredibly good and incredibly popular heavyweights with only one loss and one draw between their 55 combined fights. It seems British boxers are like British buses. You wait around for ages, and then a few show up at once. Stick around. Thanks for watching. And remember, if you want more fight sports in your life, just hit the subscribe button.